Hey guys, I'm Nisha from nishahomi.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make deep fried shrimp toast. Shrimp toast is a Chinese party appetizer which I have slightly Indianized and it's very easy to prepare and a tasty finger food. To make shrimp toast, I've added 300 grams of shrimp into my food processor. I'm adding in half an inch of roughly chopped ginger, four garlic cloves, one sprig of coriander leaves, roughly chopped, four bulbs of spring onions or green onions, roughly chopped. This is about half a cup of green onions, one teaspoon cashmere chili powder, a pinch of turmeric powder, half teaspoon salt. I'm squeezing in one fourth of a lemon, half teaspoon sugar this is just to balance all the flavors one teaspoon soy sauce i'm using dark soy sauce two teaspoon corn flour one egg white one teaspoon oil now i'm going to pulse all this together instead of a food processor you can also use a blender but i like working with my food processor now let's blend this until everything is nicely minced and combined Scrape down the sides and process one more time. Now our shrimp mix is ready. So I'm going to transfer this into a bowl. Okay, now our shrimp mix is ready. You can either make the shrimp toast right away or refrigerate this mix. That is, you can make ahead this mix and refrigerate or even freeze it. To make the toast, lightly smear some oil on a bread knife. This prevents the mix from sticking and spread it on top of bread. For this recipe, you should use white bread. Simply spread the mix on top of the bread. If you prefer, you can trim off the edges of the bread, but I prefer to keep them. I got about eight pieces of bread. Now I'm going to cut each piece into half and then cut it into triangle. You can also cut it into thin strips like this. To fry the toast, I'm heating some oil, about half inch of oil. To check whether the oil is hot enough, dip a small piece of bread and if it sizzles, then the oil is ready. Now simmer the fire and add in the bread slices. Add in paste side down. After about one and a half to two minutes, slowly turn this. Now if your pan is not well seasoned, shrimp mix might get stick to the bottom of the pan. So it is advisable to use a non-stick pan when you make this if you don't have a seasoned cast tank pan like I am using now. After about one and a half to two minutes, turn it over. After about another one minute, again flip it. Once you make this, you have to serve this immediately. Otherwise the crispiness of the bread might be lost. So serve it immediately since my iron skillet retains more heat i have put the flame on the lowest so if you are using a non-stick pan just keep the flame on medium now this is all done let's remove this to a paper napkin Just before serving, sprinkle some chopped green onions. If you like this recipe, please give a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my video channel for more video updates and do try this recipe and let me know how this turned out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.